Hello and welcome, this is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm introducing the new color palette challenge for the month of September 2024 and this month is number 113 from Sarah Renee Clark's Color Cubes. These colors include pistachio, artichoke, terracotta, blood orange, and gray. If you're not familiar with the color cubes, these boxes contain a ton of cards with different color combinations to give you some color inspiration for your projects. This month's color palette is from volume one. There's also a digital version that you can get, but I'll link these down in the description box if you're interested. But Sarah gave us permission to use these for our monthly color challenges. And if you're not familiar with the color challenge, it's where you create any project using the colors in the color palette and then post a photo of it into the color challenge album on my Facebook group, Kendra's Card Challenges. And you'll do this to enter to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, journal, really anything that you'd like as long as you use the colors in the palette and it does not have to be a project using one of the sketches from our quarterly sketch challenge although it can be if you'd like you can add neutral colors and metallics to this color palette just make sure that you stick to these colors only to be eligible to win the prize winners will be announced in the monthly winners video that i post with my sketch challenge showcase now i have created the september 2024 bonus printable using this color palette this is available for download now by paid patrons of the Kendra's Card Challenges Patreon membership program. This month's bonus is a digital card making kit called Cacti and Succulents, and it contains a set of 12 digital pattern papers, images, and sentiments. On this first page, it shows a small version of the different patterns included this month, and then at the bottom, it has some sentiments relating to cactus plants and succulents. Stay sharp. Hey, sucker. I'm a sucker for you. I'm stuck on you. You're stuck with me. Cactus makes perfect. Looking sharp. Sorry, I'm a little prickly. And some days you just got to suck it up. I just think these are hilarious. And then on the next page, it includes 12 images that you can fussy cut or use a scan and cut machine to cut out. There are seven cactus plant images and five succulent images and some that have both and they match the colors in the color palette. And then here are the papers. These are the full eight and a half by 11 inch patterns because I like to utilize the whole sheet and I can cut them down to six by six and also have some panels to work with. So there's a sheet of succulents. There's um, the diagonal stripes, the cactus pattern with arrows, it kind of has a tribal vibe. And then the solid pistachio color with some spots in the different colors in the color palette. Then this one has some small cacti images on a white background. And then there's this one with the pistachio background and um, cactus plants and flowers. And then there's this plaid pattern and all the different colors in the palette. And then this beautiful floral pattern. And then we've got this blood orange with the white arrows matches that um, tribal pattern really well and then there's this pattern with splotches and then the solid ones have little white cacti doodles in them and the others have like a grid pattern and then there's also some spots in the different colors then there's this one on the terracotta colored background with white succulents all over and then the last pattern is this grid pattern in the terracotta color now I went ahead and cut these down to be six inches by six inches off camera. And most of these will coordinate with other sheets, but these are the patterns that I paired together. And instead of showing you cards that I made with the six by six papers and cutting them down like I would normally do with my challenge, I thought I'd share the cards that I made with the panels and the extra pieces that I cut off from the eight and a half by 11 inch patterns. So I fussy cut all of the images out and then put together 15 cards using the panels and strips from cutting the 8.5 by 11 sheets down. And this is what I have left over to use for when I'm making the cards with the 6 by 6 papers using my latest quarterly card making challenge. Now if you're new to my channel and not familiar with my card challenges, it's where you can create a bunch of cards using just 6 sheets of 6 inch by 6 inch pattern paper. I provide cutting guides for all six sheets of paper and 15 different card sketches in a free PDF digital download. 
I invite you to watch the Challenge 15 introduction video that explains all about it, how to enter, and details of all the different prizes you can win for joining the challenge and sharing your creations on social media. I will have this linked above and in the description box below. Now, this particular challenge runs from July 1st through September 30th of 2024, so there's still a month left if you want to enter. Um, you can get the current quarterly card challenge over on my Patreon page once you join as a free member. You don't have to be a paid patron to get the quarterly challenge printable. But to get the extra perks and benefits like this bonus printable, you can join as a paid patron starting at just $5 a month. You can sign up as a free member simply by entering your email address. And once you do, the link to the current quarterly printable will be shown at the top. But if you just join as a paid member at the $5 in tier up, you will have access to previous challenges. Now these past challenge PDFs can also be purchased individually. So visit my website, kendrascardchallenges.com for more information. Paid members of my Patreon program help to keep the challenges free each quarter. So I hope you'll consider joining as a patron. So now I'll show you the cards I made. These first few that I'm showing, I used the sentiments from the printable as well as the images that I cut out. And you'll see that I've got some shiny stuff on there. Those are Love from Lizzie peel off stickers. And then I also used some gold flatback pearls for embellishments. And some of these didn't even really need a, a focal image. So I've, I'm just using the sentiments. I kept these really simple, but I think the paper is pretty enough that you don't really need much on it. Um, some of these are stitched. Some of the things that I cut out, this is, uh, I cut this out using a circle punch and layered that up. Yeah, this cactus makes perfect. That has a stitched banner. I love this one. I'm a sucker for you. And then for this one, I used a little tiny sentiment strip that says, I love your hugs. And for this one, I used a um, stamp and die set from Spellbinders for the sentiment there. I'm not sure where that flower came from, but it matched the colors perfectly. So I just added that on there. And here's another um, sentiment from that same Spellbinders stamp set. It says, for you, my friend. And this one is a sentiment from one of my bonus printables in the past. And it was foiled with black, um, this toner foil. And again, I've got those Love from Lizzie Peel Off stickers to add some shine. And then here's another one. Um, it says, thank you. And it's a stitched rectangle. And I love this pattern so much that I didn't want to put much on top of it. So I just used a simple hello down at the bottom. And here are the 15 cards that I made with the September of 2024 bonus printable. Again, you can get this as a digital download by becoming a paid member of my Patreon membership program at the official all access and VIP tier levels. So um, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges and get all of the information. If you want to check out my challenge, Again, you don't have to be a paid member for that. You can download the free printable um, once you join as a free member by entering your email address. I really hope you like my cards and I hope that you will join us for the color challenge. And um, I look forward to seeing what you all create with this beautiful color palette. I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.